So, this is a hell of a lot of paint. And you might be asking yourself, how the hell do I find paint when I'm looking for it? I don't have a clue either, but we're gonna solve the hell out of this one. I wouldn't tease you. This is obviously quite a collection of paint. Some people have a lot more. I just have a good amount. And as you can see, I've got a couple different brands and even some weird stuff in between. I've got glow pigments. I've got army painter. I've got Citadel. I've got dollar store acrylics. I've got Reaper. I love them all, but I hate going through this whole thing trying to find a color when I need one. And it's really not ideal. And you can't quite see it from the back, but it's taking up a third of my freaking desk. So I came up with something that I'm gonna try and I'm gonna see how this works. I was looking for different kinds of storage racks online on Amazon, and I know some people build them out of like PVC and they just slot all their paints into the wall. Um, didn't really feel like building something, I just wanted to buy something I could get up and something that would be removable and not look too bad on the walls. Well, uh, Luke at Luke's APS had a really good idea on some of his storage stuff and that was uh, Beautician's products. I think he used a hairdresser's trolley or hairdresser's cart for a lot of his stuff. Worked absolutely great. So I don't know exactly what possessed me, but I thought with these, which are uh, nail polish racks, and you can find these on Amazon in like packs of five, packs of six, even bigger. And they're individual racks. And these ones are kind of nice because they have little end pieces. So things aren't going to, you know, slide out of them if they tip or whatnot. But they horizontally fit all these kinds of paint, even the big guys, pretty well. So essentially, I'm going to put these on my wall. I'm gonna get rid of this damn thing and I'm gonna free up my friggin desk so here's what we're gonna do I got a six pack of these on Amazon for 20 bucks the link will be in the description below I got some of these um, non damaging 3m command wall strips and you'll see they're a little bit big for the size of the rack it's just a little too wide well we got handy and these scissors I'm not an idiot we're gonna cut those to size and we're gonna see if we can organize these bad boys. So again, I've got a couple different kinds of paint. These ones are obviously some of the biggest and the smallest are probably the Citadel brand. I'm gonna do the big stuff down because for those of you who don't know, I'm in California, which is earthquake country. And provided this place is still standing and we just get a little tumbler, I'd really rather not have to clean everything up. So the lower down these are, the better. And these guys probably could survive the fall and the paint would be shaken up and ready to use. Win-win, really. Anyway, so, great, 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 great. So all I'm gonna do here is take the back of this and I'm just going to hold the strip up like so, except you want this pullable little tab side down and I'm just gonna chop off the extra like so. And I don't really care if there's a little more. No, don't care. And I'm going to try it with two. Bada bing, bada boom. So then there's going to be two sides to this. One of them will say wall, one of them won't. No fucking brainer, am I right? So I'm going to take the side that doesn't say wall, peel it off. Stick it on the back, tab down, right on the edge like that. Give it a good firm press. Put the other one on the same side. I'm sorry I haven't made a video in a little bit, by the way. Um, I've actually been in a bit of a rut and it's kind of funny because I didn't think I would get there. Uh, I'm still learning some of this stuff too. So, you peel off the other side so you just have bare adhesive. I'm not even really using a level here. I mean, I could, I've got a desk handy. Who would have thought? A desk. Yeah. 
And then you just press. Against the wall. Alright, so. First thing I'm going to try and do then is take all my dollar store acrylics and folk arts and see if that holds, because that is also going to be the heaviest. And I got quite a few of these. As you can see. I'm not, I can't fit stuff like this. It's just too fat. It's too wide. It's not going to happen. So. Can we do it all in one? Er, gird. I think we just did. Do I have anything else here? No? Lovely! Splendid! Yes! Yes, that's, that's, that's very good, yes. So, good. First one down. Alright, so, next rack. Some assembly required, by the way. I had to slot all these little guys in. Okay, fine. So, there's the bottom, there's the top. Extra Bob Drunkle. And I really got to say, in case you guys use these for anything else, I've put them up for um, light fixtures, like Christmas lights and things like that. And when they say they're non-damaging on the wall, they actually are. It's quite amazing to me how few patch jobs I've had to do on walls taking those off, because they actually work. All you do when you want to take this off is you, you basically just pull down on this tab. You pull down on the little round bit and just continue slowly pulling it and it actually just breaks up the adhesive and the rack will come right off the wall if I move or want to, you know, rip this fucker out of here or something. That's great, isn't it? That's great time for everyone. Why Scottish? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so that's obviously got to come out about a quarter of an inch, so I'm just going to give myself a little room. Okay. And there we have it. So, what's my next biggest guy? That's probably going to be my army painter, which I don't have a lot of, but I do have some. Um, that's actually out of Citadel, the first brand I got something else in. Uh, really, because I like certain pigments, I decided there were some things I found like this one. You can't see it super well, but Kraken skin. New webcam, by the way. It actually focuses. Yay! Um, it was just an amazing shade that I didn't find anywhere else and worked really well on some of my Eldar. And decided I'd get that. And I got some of this purple because they do a really good alien purple. And this orange and this blue and all kinds of other stuff. And it works pretty well. So I'm just going to keep going up. I'm not really organizing this by color because... Again, it's another little plus. I recommend getting the clear plastic because you can actually see through it and see what you're going for. Who to thunk? I mean, if I really want, yeah, I can take time organizing this later, but for right now, don't care. The other beauty of these being adjustable, I think, is... No, not gonna fit. Um, if I need to change size later, like, I've... I probably haven't gone public on this kind of thing. I started using these Citadel paints. I don't love them. Um, they're good. I really am transitioning more towards Reaper just because they're a lot easier for me to use. I like the fact they come in dropper bottles. Uh, they're a bit cheaper and I love the company. Um, those guys are based down in Texas. They have really phenomenally great customer service. They're amazing at shipping things. And I've not had one issue with them at all. Reaper miniatures in Texas, honestly. They have great models. They have great uh, miniatures, great figurines for all kinds of things. They have some stuff that would double as terrain and scenery. They have a whole paint range. I've started using their brushes. Um, no, they're not paying me to say this, by the way, but I just, I love their paint. I love their range. I, I don't know what else to say. So, I'm probably going to get more of these 
my racks as I go are probably going to have to space out differently once I have more of those than these short little games workshop guys. So, anyway, I'm going to take a few minutes and get this all up and I'll show you guys the rest when I'm done. Well, that went well. Um, as you can see, we have a nice little layer of uh, racks of color here. I've got a few extra. I can live with that. Some of these are duplicated. Some of them are really old and I can just get rid of those. That's totally fine with me. If I had one more shelf, that would fit perfectly. So for $20 and another, I don't know, five for these command things, that's pretty damn good. I'm pleased with that. And I can just easily just get what I need, see it all laid out. That's pretty freaking simple. And another thing I love, I hate to put in another plug for Reaper, but this is really cool. I can just stagger these and fit more on one rack. Um, you can't do that. The Citadel, they're just fat boys. Can't do it. Um, all in all, I'm really pleased. I think no matter your situation, if you need to come up with something that you don't want to make, that isn't too expensive and that you can just organize your paints with, this would get my money and it's working pretty well so far. So. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, if this is helpful to you, if you can organize something, give me a like, give me a sub if you wanna follow along, get more tips and catch up with my projects. Um, we are going strong at a grand total of 37 subscribers right now. Thank you guys very much. I'm very glad you're along for the trip and I hope to see you next time. Later.